Welcome to episode 13 of My Yarn Corner. My name's Alex and I live in Yorkshire in the UK and this is a podcast all about knitting and crochet. So welcome everybody, hope that you're all okay, hope that you've had a lovely crafty couple of weeks and you've all got a drink, I've got a coffee in my giant friend's cup as usual. You'll notice that I'm sat in a different spot today. For the first time ever I've got the house to myself so I've taken full advantage and I've set myself up in the lounge. I've got the tripod on the coffee table and I've got everything around me. Yeah, taken full advantage of the situation. So yeah, I hope that you're all okay and you've had a lovely crafty couple of weeks. I've got a few things to talk about today. I've got one finished object and some incoming goodies. And yeah, I'll stop wittering. Oh, and I will put in the description box below all the information about where you can find me. I am on Ravelry and Instagram and there's a Facebook page for this podcast. And you can email me as well. All that will be in the um, description box down below. And anything that I talk about in the video will be linked in the description box as well. So yeah, let's get on with the podcast. I have, I'll start with finished objects because I've only got one. And this is my July bear. You all know that my partner is a huge, huge football fan. So there had to be a football bear in, in the, um, in the, what am I calling it? Year of bears. That's a really good name. In my year of bears. So yeah, this is July bear. He's done in DK weight and he is amigurumi crocheted in the round. He's got a little number seven on his front and one on his back. And of course, his football beanie. This does come off as well. So if he gets too warm, he can take his little hat off. Let me get a bit closer look. So yeah, we're up to July now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for um, August yet. In fact, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do for August yet. So I'm hoping it'll come to me as we get closer to August. But yeah, he's really cute. He's got a little pom-pom on the top as well. So yeah. That is my only finished object. It's actually much bigger than the other bears that I've made. I'm st I am st the reason that I wanted to do this was to see what change there'd be at the start of the year to the end of the year. And I, ca I am noticing now that the bears are growing. My bears only used to be sort of this big. They're upstairs, so I can't bring another one down to show you. But the bears were always about this big, so they're certainly getting bigger. But yeah, so that is July Bear and my one and only finished object. So we shall move on to works in progress. I'm not sure how many works in progress I have because I've just got them all piled around. But we shall just get on. So my first one is from this crochet magazine and I think it's last month's and it's actually this here, little Snoopy on a roof and it's C2C so it's crochet again. Yeah, so it's crochet again and it's all done in C2C which is corner to corner. So basically what you do is you crochet these little blocks and each of these sections on here is one little block. So you'll start in one corner and you'll work, your blanket will come out sort of like that and then go like that to make a square. I'll try and sh it's hard to show you on here because I have so many ends attached but this is the right way up. This is it so far. Can you see that? So it's I've done a fair bit on it. But if you look at the other side, that's the back. <laughs> there is just bobbins and balls of yarn attached everywhere. So it's really hard to show you, but basically you start at this corner here. Like I say, this is done in trebles, so you'll do three trebles and that is one square. So each of the colours, I'm getting myself in a tangle here, 
each of the colours is one square, which is one square of chart. C2C is one of my favourite, favourite things to do. And this magazine came free with this crochet hook. And where's the other one? And that stitch marker. That's why I bought the magazine, for that crochet hook. Anyway, I can just untangle this a little bit. So tangled up. That's the only thing when you're doing so many colour changes with C2C is just spending the time untangling it all. It does get a little bit frustrating. But yeah, that's upside down, that's the right way. So the pattern's just starting to come out and it's actually getting easier now because I've done all this bottom bit here. So there'll be less bobbins on the back really soon, but yeah. I'll see if I can find um, a picture. I'll see that without showing you the pattern, that's a clearer picture of it. It's going to be so sweet. And I am going to put um, a ribbed border all the way around it as well, probably in either red or black. So that I'm really enjoying making it. It's just time consuming with all of those ends. Just look at them. I've been weaving some of them in as I've gone, so it's not as bad as it was last week. But yeah. And this is only such a small section as well. I'll go back to the picture. Um, not that one. I've only done sort of this bit here so you can see it's gonna be really really big wait the right way is that the right way around yeah it's gonna be quite big because that is already that big so it's gonna be a really big blanket when it's done so yeah that is work in progress number one there's not been a huge amount of progress on this because A, it's a blanket and it's far too warm at the moment to be crocheting on this and B, I need to buy some more of this yarn. It's all done in DK weight and this is just a bonus DK from Hobbycraft. I think the other ones might be a West Yorkshire Spinners one. But yeah, it's taken a while because it's just too warm to work on. And now I really, that's gonna take ages for me to sort this out now because I've tangled it all even more. I'll sort out later. So that's work in progress number one. Work in progress number two is my jelly roll blanket. This is a pattern by Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears. And I think she's only released this in the last few weeks, last month or something like that. And basically it's designed from a jelly roll quilt. That's where she got the idea for it. So you just you're making these strips. I was, had the first strip done last week, and then you'll make your second strip and join them together. So that's where I am now. I've got two strips going. I've done mine crazy, crazy colours. I didn't want it to match at all. I wanted it all to be totally random. And yes, I'm really enjoying making that. It is all just garter stitch, so it's super easy. And it's one of those things that's just a relaxing project. You know, when you don't want to think about a pattern and you don't want anything that's just taxing at all. You just want to sit and knit and not do anything else. That's when I've been working on this. It's lovely. I'm really, really enjoying it. There's only... I've cast on a few more stitches than what the pattern calls for. I think I think I did 25. I can't remember what the pattern said. But my needles are actually smaller, so I just cast on a few more stitches. And like I say, you join it to the next section as you go. I'll put a picture on the screen of the finished object, what it'll look like. But yeah, that's a lovely, a lovely, lovely pattern, and I'm really enjoying that. Working my way through all my bags of minis. I've got some really small balls in there, can you see? And I've got plenty of the big ones that I haven't skeined up yet. 
So I'm really enjoying it and I'm enjoying just, just the process of it, not having to rush, just enjoying the process of that. So that is work in progress number two. Work in progress number three is my sweater. This is the Whitmore sweater. I've been working on this for quite some time now. And you have, I don't think, I don't think you've actually seen this since, I don't think you've seen this in a long time actually, because I think last time I showed this on the podcast, I've just done this section here. I finished the body. Can you see that? And I'm on the sleeves now. I've really enjoyed making it, but I think because I've had it on the needles for so long, I've just lost the will a little bit with this. I can't wait for it to be finished, and I really want to cast on another sweater. So I need to get this finished. I only have, um, these are my Changu needles, and I only have one cable that's long enough for sweaters. So I really can't cast on another jumper. Actually, I can because I've just changed the cable for the sleeve. I could cast on my other sweater. No. I'm going to finish this before I start another one. But yeah, this is the Whitmore sweater. This section at the top, I absolutely loved making. It's done in... Let's see if I've got a ball band in here. I have. It's West Yorkshire Spinners. What's the colourway? The colourway is mustard. Which is... One. Now, this is this is the fifth ball. I'm, I think I'm going to need another ball to do the sleeves. I've only done this much so far. Oops. So I think I'm going to need another ball for the sleeves. But I didn't know whether to do the tapered sleeves or the what are they called? Balloon sleeves, where you don't put the decreases in. I can't remember, let me have a look at the pattern. No, I, don't have, I don't have the pattern printed out. Yeah, I didn't know whether to do the tapered sleeves or the um, bloom sleeves. Is that what they're called? Bloom sleeves? No, I don't think they are. You know what I mean, where you don't decrease and then you just decrease really sharply for the cuff. So it sort of blooms out. They're the ones that I'm doing. So yeah, I've got to do 15 inches of the sleeve and then put the cuff on and these needles are 4.5 I can't remember what the pattern called for I think it might have been a 4 and a 5 on the pattern I could be wrong on that but I did 3.5 for the ribbon and then a 4.5 for the main body this bit here was so interesting I didn't get bored at all but I've got really bored on the rest of it but no, I really like it. It's going to look gorgeous when it's finished. I've tried it on and it does fit. And in the winter, it's going to be lovely. I did do the body actually longer. Let's see if I can show you. Stand up. The body comes down longer. So it just covers my bum. Can you see the length of that? So I don't like it when they sit quite short. But yeah. I really haven't got much to do. I've got to get on with it. Then I can start the boxy, which I've got the yarn for, which I'll show you in a minute. So there's not much to do. And the sleeves are working really quick. I've only been knitting on that for about an hour and look how much I've done. I just need to pull my finger out and get on with it. It's a shame because I've been doing it for so long now. But no, I'll get on with it, get it finished. Hopefully by the next podcast, this will be finished. Do I think that's going to happen? No, probably not. Because I've started another project today. <clears throat> Which actually, it's not my fault. It's totally the fault of Suzanne from Green Lambkin Yarns, who has started the most amazing make-along, which I was super, super excited about. So it's her fault I've cast on a new project, not mine. It's nothing to do with me. So Green Lambkin Yarns is doing Christmas in July, which I am super, super excited about. So that is my next work in progress. I have got a 
this pattern which is by Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears and this is actually my first patterned sock. I'm super excited about this, can you tell? All the socks that I've made so far have been just vanilla socks but I've got the most gorgeous yarn which I'll show you in a second from Green Lankin for this make along. Um, I can't remember what the make along is called but I'll put it on the screen. There's a hashtag so you can join in on Instagram and you basically just to make anything Christmassy, either a, a Christmas pattern, which I thought that was, it's called Snow Frost, or if you're making a gift for somebody or you want to make some Christmas decorations, anything that you class as Christmassy works. And then you can put it on Instagram and I think she's doing a prize giveaway at the end of it. But I have just been so excited about this. So yeah, this is the pattern. These socks are called the Snow Frost socks and they are by Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears. I will put a link below to the pattern. And I've got the most gorgeous yarn. I tried really, really hard to leave this skeined up so I could show you on the podcast. But as we all know, I'm a child and I get far too excited about things. So it's not skeined up, it's in, in balls. So I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looked like in the skein because it did look really beautiful. This is the yarn. This is from Green Lambkin Yarns. I think the colourway is Sugar Plum Fairy. As soon as she mentioned she was doing this make-along, I had been eyeing this skein of yarn up and I kept looking at it thinking I really, really want it. And my partner went and bought it for me. So I was really, really pleased. So I have two 50 gram balls because I'm doing two at a time. So I've literally just cast this on this morning and I've just done the ribbon for the sock, or for both the socks, so you can't really see anything yet, but that is the yarn, how, it, how it's coming out. It's a four-ply yarn, and it's just gorgeous, look at that, you see. I really love it, really, really love it. And the pattern section is just, this is the left, no, yeah. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. This is the right sock. And this is the left sock, I think. I think that's right. So you basically you're just putting the pattern in these two sections here. So yeah, that is my next work in progress. So totally not my fault. I could not help having to cast this on. I take no blame whatsoever. I can't wait until they're finished. They're absolutely gorgeous. So, so far I've just done, I think, two rows of the pattern repeat I was actually quite nervous like I say I've only ever done vanilla type vanilla socks no pattern whatsoever and it's more so because my knitted socks I wear them all the time and I kind of think if you've got boots on and things a pattern sock might be too thick but this one it's where's my pattern it's just the lace detail I think it'll be okay so these are knit um, I've lost my train of thought. These are knit in tubes and this is an afterthought heel. Again, which I've never done. I wanted to try an afterthought heel. I think I talked about it on the last podcast and the one before where I'd wanted to try an afterthought heel. So I've never actually done it. So I'm going to see how I get on. I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. But yeah, I'm going to try an afterthought heel, and they have got Kay Jones, I think it's, she calls it the umbrella toe. Let me just have a double check in the pattern, I'm sure that's what she calls it. Yep. The toe is called the umbrella toe, which again I've never done before. So these socks are going to be a real bunch of new things for me to try with the afterthought heel and the pattern on it. But super excited. I'm not sure what I'm going to use as my contrast yet. Let me just grab my other yarns. One second. So I don't have a lot for a contrast, but I have... That's not going to go.
it all I've got? What have I got in there? So I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the contrast. This is the yarn. I've got that one. And that's a bit bright. Oops, I do have this one, which might be just a little bit too light. I've got a yellow. And I've got a brighter yellow. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hold that up. That might look, that might work. Because it has got specks of yellow in it. Can you see the yellow in there? That might work. No. That's too dark. I don't know. I may have to buy some more yarn just for the contrast. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so, yeah. That's my next work in progress which I take no responsibility for whatsoever. And my final work in progress, just pop them back in there. I've now got yarn everywhere. So my final work in progress is my Stephen West shawl. I've done a little bit of work on this since you've last seen it. Not a massive amount. I think I might have just finished this, but I've only put one more bubble section on it since you've last seen it. So there's not a there's not a great deal to show you on this, but it's still growing, it's still getting there. And I've weave I've woven in all the ends. I've just speaking last time about the weaving Stephen method how he has you weaving the ends as you go now it actually does work I tested this a lot the other day so I've woven in all the ends and the ends where I'd done the Stephen weaving method method I was saying I didn't think no not that I didn't think it'd work I was a bit nervous about just chopping that end off but I've really tugged and pulled and everything else and them ends have not moved at all. So I'm going to carry on doing that method. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Loving my colours. That is a green lambkin yarn. That was the giveaway two giveaways ago. I will do another giveaway. I'm waiting till we get to 500 subscribers. That's hopeful, isn't it? <laughs> if we get to 500, 500 subscribers, I shall do another giveaway. I think I'm at 322, so I've got a while to go yet. But yeah, that was the last giveaway yarn that I had. And this is a dye and knit by Kate in the Blueberry, uh, Blueberry Yogurt colourway. And this one is also dye and knit by Kate in the colourway Oriental. And I'm just teaming it with... A plain white which is this one here and it's just a standard four ply all done in four ply I said there's not a great deal of progress to show you on that because I haven't done a lot to it but it's still there and it's still growing so that is my it's not actually my last work in progress to be honest because I did start one and I think I'm gonna pull it out I'm not happy with it I've had this pattern for quite a number of years now. This is called Cowgirls Get the Blues. And this is a crochet pattern. And I had started this once before and I think I ended up ripping it out because I wasn't happy with how it sat. I'll show you this. These are my two colours. I can't remember what this colourway is. This one was one that my partner had bought me, so I don't know what this colourway is. But these are both four ply. This is a Somerset Yarns one. And I've started it. Oops. It's all crochet, and I think the hook size 
on a four millimeter book but i'm just not happy with how it's going like that i don't like it for a shawl i like it it doesn't have to sit flat but i like it to sit flatter and i think if it's already in this shape as as i put more rows on it and it grows it's just going to end up going like this i don't know i'm not overly happy with it which is a shame because this one would be this middle section here and then I was going to put this gorgeous rainbow yarn underneath because it was really, really bright. But I'm just, just not happy with how it's turning out at the moment. I don't know. Do you see what I mean? I don't like that shape. So I don't know. I started this last week and I thought, hmm, I suppose it'll block. But it's kind of just been sat in the bag while I decide what I do with it. I don't know. I think I can use this for something so much nicer. If I'm not, if I'm already not happy with it now, I don't want to put all that work into it and then really not like it. I don't know. This was actually an ebook. I bought this on Ravelry and it came with, I think there might be four shawl patterns in it. I'll put a link in the description box below. But I do like that. It's nice, isn't it? I don't know. We shall see. I may pull that out. And that is everything for works in progress. So I do have some incoming goodies. Well, Warehouse had a sale. So I purchased quite a few things from there. I said earlier I bought the yarn for the boxy sweater. And this is what I've bought. This is going to be for the boxy by Hokey Loki Telly. It's beautiful. This colourway, I think it's called Bordeaux colourway. 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. I bought four of these. I think I'm going to need to buy a fifth. Oops. I don't think I'm have enough with four. Thought that would look so nice in the boxer. It's very, very soft. It's gorgeous. I've been back onto the Wool Warehouse website and I've put one more of these in the same dye lot in my basket. I may just have to order it because I also ordered. I wanted some more sock yarn because I'm, I'm kind of getting low on sock yarn. And I saw this. This is Drops Delight. I don't know what the colour is, it just says 18. And this is 75% wool and 25% polyamide. I ordered this one. Is that upside down? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Can you see? So when I ordered this, I initially wanted it for socks, but if you look, there's no repeating colourway. So I would need two balls. I can't split the ball and just make shorty socks. I would need to get two balls of these. And then I'm going to have so much of it left over. But then I thought, I only bought one ball. It looked beautiful in a shawl. Just such autumn, wintry colours, really moody. And I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous in a shawl. And this was really cheap. It was in the sale. So this is only 50 grams. And there's really not a lot you can make with 50 grams. So I think if I go back onto the Wool Warehouse website and order another ball of, well, skin of this for my boxy, I do think I'm going to need five. I don't know why I only bought four. I may just buy another few of these to take me up to 200 grams and I can make a gorgeous shawl with this. I think it'll look beautiful. So I bought that as well. I also bought some Drops, Drops Fable. This is... 75% wool and 25% polyamide and this is just for some shorty socks. I don't know quite how it'll turn out. I've never used this before. That's lovely. And I also bought some Stylecraft Boho again for socks. This is where's the 75% superwash wool and 
excuse me, and 25% nylon. Now, I, and it does show you the picture on the back, that's how it knits up. It's lovely, isn't it? So this one is 100 grams, so I'll definitely get a pair of socks out of this. So, what do you think? Do you think this would look better in a shawl or just buy one more ball for socks? You see, I think... If I did socks, they're going to have quite long repeats on it. Let's pull that down a minute. Maybe not, I don't know. I think it'll look better in a shawl. Either buy one more ball and just make socks with it. Or three more balls and make a really nice shawl. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it's beautiful. So that's that one. Um, is that everything on incoming goodies? Oh no, it isn't. Put that back in there a moment. I also have, um, I won a giveaway from Pearl Passion. Where did I put my stitch markers? So they came last week. And I won two stitch markers. I never win anything. This is the first giveaway I've ever won. But this is the first one. Little Bernie Sanders stitch marker. Can you see that? That one. And the other one is already on my socks. So I'll have to get my socks back out to show you. Oh well. <laughs> get my socks back out. Oops. And this is the other stitch marker that I won. Can you see that? Yarn's in the way. There we go. Isn't it cute? I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I was super excited when they came through the post the other day. And I think that is everything for incoming as well. Actually, it's not all of my incoming because I also got my month for Advent from Green Lampkin Yarns. So I now have, there's 10, 11 and 12. I now have all of these. This is for the Advent calendar from Green Lampkin. So I've been buying one every month, but we've just done month four, so we're moving into month five. And every month you get three 10 gram minis and I think she puts a little bit, a little extra in a couple of the parcels, but these are all mine that I've got so far. I'm so pleased to finally have an advent calendar and I have not peaked at all. I know Paula from Stitch by Mrs. D has also been getting this advent calendar and she's been peeking. She's been holding the packages up to the light and looking. I haven't. Mine are all intact. I'm so proud of myself, even though I need minis for my jelly roll blanket i have not peaked at all so sorry about the rustling but look all totally intact i've not peaked at all so that is it for incoming goodies i also have the only other thing that i've got to talk about is i've been making some yarn ready to go into the Etsy shop. Now I'm kind of still delayed a little bit because I need some more dyes. I'm sort of running low on the dyes and I only have a really limited colour. So I did order some more dyes last Friday, but they've not come yet. So I haven't been able to get on with the dyeing as quickly as I wanted. I'll have to message them actually and find out where that is because I really think it should have been here by now. But so far, these are the three that will be going into the shop. They don't have names yet. But this one is pinks, really deep pinks. There's bits of purple in it and there's some really dark, dark black patches in there as well. Really moody and gorgeous. That's one that's going to be going into the shop. We also have this one. This is just blues and purples. Really, really tonal. That will be going into the shop as well. And they will have names when they go into the shop. So if any of you can think of any names, let me know. Naming the yarn is probably the hardest bit, I think. And this is the final one. This one does have a name. This is Bonfire Party. And this is just really, really deep reds and browns and yellows. 
Let me see that. So that is that. The shop update I was hoping to have done on Monday, but because I'm still waiting for dies, I don't think it's going to happen. I'll try and contact the company today and find out where the dies are. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully the shop update will either be towards the end of next week or the following week. But if you've got me on a favourite on Etsy, then you'll get a notification when there's an update. And I will put it on Instagram as well. So I think that's everything that I've got to talk about today. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I shall see you all again in two weeks. Bye-bye.